the game is quite quite nice because it has three squads so basically you're going to use 15 heroes not just five or not just four or not just six like in most of those turn based games okay so give this game a try uh, welcome to other games tv and let's check out epic fantasy now this is going to be a turn based rpg now you're going to get some offline income over here which is quite quite a lot collect it after that go towards your heroes the good part is that you're going to have three squads each squad with five heroes really really important so what you're going to do you're going to hit challenge you're going to go into the campaign mode you're going to want to have breakthrough on and quick battle on hit start and they will automatically start the fights now two fights will go on quick mode and just one fight you will be able to see it probably the hardest fight that you can have in this campaign mode now that's really really important and that's going to help you quite quite a lot and try to put everything on the maximum amount of speed that you have unlocked okay the game will go automatically although the graphics are not that amazing i will give them that this idea is really, really nice the fact that you're going to have three squads three squads is really really important for you you're going to have different kind of game modes different kind of war bosses that you're going to be able to challenge you're going to have different kind of classes for these heroes over here different kind of rarities that are going to be really, really important for you to master the ssr ones are going to be the most important ones now when you do not want to go and go forward you're just going to need to click the breakthrough and it will automatically stop at the end of this stage now this is what you're going to want to do whenever you're going to want to try to do something else or you can just quit over here okay that's going to be even easier now besides the challenge besides the campaign mode you're going to have the world boss which uh, you're going to be able to try it twice daily really, really important do it you're going to have the towers now over here when you're going to start you're going to have breakthrough on and it will go automatically to the maximum amount now you're going to collect from here a lot a lot of resources try to clear every every dungeon that you can over here it's really important also you're going to have the tower of hell over here also from here you're going to get different kind of resources and also guys you are going to be able to hit the dungeons some of the dungeons have a specific amount of daily trials that you can go for daily so watch out for that quite quite important these dungeons because some of them will offer you artifacts some of them will offer you materials that you need to upgrade something and some of them will offer you weapons which is really really important if you have unlocked a specific stage in the campaign you're also going to be able to go into the next floor over here okay now if you're going to notice that you do not have keys come over here and get the achievements completed now if you're going to notice that you're not going to be able to get any achievements completed basically any quests try to go in the campaign mode as further as you can now you're also going to be able to use gemstones as keys if you will decide to do that but that's going to be up to you now regarding the heroes over here you're going to be able to use quick upgrade which is quite quite important but you're going to need specific resources you're going to be able to hit equip auto equip over here and also eventually you're going to be able to alchemize basically get better and better uh, runes for some of the uh, heroes that you're going to have over here and you're going to want to equip them with better and better rarities obviously as i mentioned you're going to have different kind of rarities for your heroes over here uh, different kind of rarities will offer you the possibility to provide them with better and better uh, let's say stats more and more uh, uh, health more and more attack who knows more and more damage and different kind of other things as well don't forget that over here this game at least from what i can notice it's endless i mean you will not get bored by playing this game although the graphic is not that amazing i will give them that you still need to play it okay now try to get the best the best heroes that you can over here it is the ssr are the best things that you can place on your heroes so every time you're going to have that possibility place them now back sorry let's go back over here now besides that you're going to have the artifacts part over here now if you're going to have enough of those runes you're going to be able to unlock different kind of features in this artifact part and by unlocking them you're going to make your heroes what make them more powerful that's going to be the focus and that's what you're going to want to do you're going to want to enhance them you're going to want to place the best best artifacts over here it is engraved i cannot do that yet why hmm let me see oh i need six stars for him okay so in order for me to have six stars i need to do what i need to use these stones over here and i need to use this one oh and i only have one now unfortunately i do need to get one more ticket for that ssr hero hey 
but as long as you're going to play it you're going to get it so a lot a lot of resources a lot a lot of gemstones a lot a lot of dungeons you're going to have towers and dungeons also but also the arena where you're going to be able to fight other players in order for you to get more and more resources so try to fight in the arena as well here it is by hitting breakthrough or hitting the arena here it is breakthrough you're going to challenge every every uh, opponent that you're going to have over here and you're just going to need to sit back and the fight will go automatically towards the next opponents and here it is i have chosen 30 opponents to fight with okay so as long as i'm going to win i'm going to get a lot a lot of resources the game is not that hard give it a try for sure you're going to have a lot a lot of fun in it okay and let me know if you have played it and reach further because from what i have noticed it's quite quite a nice game okay here it is you're going to have the quick hunting over here which is really, really important you're also going to be able to get quite quite a lot of things from playing over here in the guild because over here in the guild you're also going to have the attendance over here you're also going to have the guild rate where you're also going to be able to challenge other monsters you're also going to have over here two tickets daily so basically kind of the world boss but in a guild and also you're going to have the guild war now in the guild war you're going to be able to fight other players now watch out who are you going to select over here because if you're not going to select the proper uh, let's say enemy that you're able to fight with you're going to lose points okay so watch out who are you going to put over here in order for you to be able to actually kill it okay it's not that hard now guys if you have played this one event for the drop comment let me know don't forget to subscribe because daily you're going to find a new idol game over here until next time take care be safe and don't forget to subscribe Bye.